Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So for today's video, we're gonna be having a look inside the brand new Planner Peace Box. So let's go ahead and have a look. Oh, dokey. I'm just having a look at the theme. This one's called Be Happy, but I, I like to not look because I like to actually open everything up and see what's in here. Ooh, okay, number one. I love that it's not, well, we've had an escape, but that's okay. We've had an escape. <laughs> all right so we have a postcard here saying thank you and then we have the actual stuff and of course we have our escapee which I'll show you in just a second oh I think that's funny that it got out oh my goodness oh. wow all right so let's have it let's have a start here with the stuff that got out so we have a little jar of manuka honey i think that's how you say manuka maybe manuka honey um i love honey i i <laughs> i would have honey on toast for every breakfast ever if i if, wonder if i had the choice but i i really love honey so that's going straight into the pantry um and yeah i'm happy uh, and then we have a mild liner here i love that they're mild liners i i don't know why I kind of got on the mild liner train and then I got off it and then I'm now sort of slowly starting to like them again. I do have a couple of others here somewhere. I'll have to go and find them now. Uh, but I have, so now you've got this one. So it comes with a like a highlight one and it also comes with a fine tip. Yeah, they're very nice to highlight with and I think maybe I need to... But I do have all my Tombos. I don't know. Anyway, someone sell me back on the mild liners again because they are very comfortable, lovely pens. And then we have this little pin. So we have a little pin. It is a proper metal pin. It's got a little plastic backing on it. And it's just this gorgeous gold little buzzy bee. Oh, he's so pretty. Love the details on his wings. It's very lovely. Very lovely. All right, and then when you move into all of the, oh, oh, okay, this is gonna be fun. Uh, all of the inserts and stuff. So first of all, we have this gorgeous postcard that's got every little thing is going to be all right. And it's got little bees on the background and it's got that, it's not a silver, it's like a, I'm just making sure that I'm definitely seeing that. It's a gold, it's just a very light gold. It's just different. Uh, nothing, well, nothing on the back, it's just got plan a piece on the back beautiful postcard you guys know I do lots of not tricky things but I like to do lots of things with my postcards so then we have a B dashboard and a B sticker kit yes I will be using oh, I will be using this and I actually have a lovely little B um, I've done B like plenty of B weeks um, but I have a very pretty B washi tape that'll go with this really nicely so you've got little mini kit so you've got two boxes two full boxes two quarter boxes your days of the week little icons and then just a little bit of deco and then you have your dashboard be happy be strong be brave and it's got the stripes on the back that's really pretty if you wanted to do nothing more than that that would be absolutely lovely in fact i'm getting thoughts um okay and then we have a set of stickers here from KHD stickers do absolutely lovely oh yeah printed vinyl so if you think of um, when you get lime and mortar or a lot of the other kinds of stickers these are printed on paper KHD do theirs on a printable vinyl it just means they're a little bit um, I, I guess a, a tinsy little bit more vibrant um, but they also they don't you have to have a different kind of pen to write on them these ones obviously you're not going to have to but you've got New Year's Day, Australia Day, Good Friday, Daylight Savings Time and I love that they're rainbow but I love that there's a couple of these ones at the bottom that just say public holiday so they're very generic uh, which I'm always looking for generic ones so that's definitely going in my planner, sorry in my pocket at the back. And then when we move into the, in actually before we move into the inserts, so we oh, do these inserts first. So these are the regular monthly ones, so these are the ones that we always get. So you get your regular ones. So February with your big gorgeous bee. 
and then your mood and your habit tracking on the back and then March again with the big B, a bit of honeycomb and the honey and then your habit and mood tracking at the back. And then the inserts you get this month, so first of all you get this dot grid TN insert. I love that it's A5, this would be really good to put in. So hold on, I'm just grabbing my planner for a sec. So right size to fit in my planner or fit with my planner. Could very easily pop this in the front here if there's a project that I'm working on or something that I need to, something that I'm working um, with a whole notebook for. That might actually work. That also might work for my birthday thing that I'm trying to plan out. But I love the cover with these gorgeous little hearts on them. That's very pretty and very muted. Going to fit with so many different planner themes, which is really lovely. Then we've got the 2022 Get Ready Checklist. This pack contains a 2022 goal sheet, family member information sheet, and a 2022 checklist. So let's have a look what's in here. So your Get Ready Checklist. So <laughs> this is actually very clever. So you've got your digital thing. So clear old photos off your phone and load onto the computer so you don't lose them. Consider paid subscriptions and unsubscribe to the ones you don't use. That's fantastic advice at the start of the year. Um, consider streaming services and unsubscribe to those you don't use. So we signed up for a news one over Christmas because my dad wanted to watch the news while he was here. Need to remember to cancel that, so that's a really good idea. Same thing with your inbox, your phone wallpaper and desktop wallpaper if you want to change it, and archive documents. And then you've got your financial ones, so review kids' pocket money. Household, change smoke alarm batteries, clean out the garden, clean out the car, set up your planner. Well, if you haven't done that already, um, empty your handbag and the kids' school bags. Really good one to do before school starts, please. <laughs> For all those parents who have kids that like to leave their lunches, go in with a peg on your nose because ugh. Um, and if you have smart assistants, set up new routines and review existing ones. That's a really good one too. Then you've got your 2022 goals and focus. This I'm actually thinking this might need to go in because you guys have seen my setup. And this is, I know I say this all the time, but this is the fun of this box for me. I find inserts that I never would use, like I'd never go and buy these on my own, but I love the idea that they're just sort of here and I can try them and see if I like them. And if I like them, then I get them next year. Um, so people who are important to me, what worked, what didn't work in a perfect world, what would my world look like, life look like at the end of 22? Uh, I'm just going through some of these. What would I like to improve my living space? One thing I can add or remove to my life. That's really cool. Uh, one thing I can do every day, uh, if I focus on this, my life will be improved by. That's actually a really clever little set of inserts. I like that. Uh, and then you have your family member info sheet. So you have a couple of copies of these. Uh, so you've got your name, your general information, so the birthday and their phone number, <laughs> email address. And you could obviously do this for like your whole family, so your big, big, big family, or just the people who live within your house, whichever you want to do. Um, allergies, prescriptions, likes and dislikes, really good for when you come to buying presents. Favourite brands, favourite foods, clothing and shoe sizes, obviously with little kids that's going to change along the way. Could be a really cool idea, I'm just thinking of this while I'm doing it. If you put a piece of either um, laminate sheet, you could laminate this whole page, like once you've done all of these ones, you could put a laminate sheet and you could just use a, um, a wet erase marker to be able to update that as you go. Or you could even put like just a piece of packing tape across that bit and that will do the same thing. Uh, and then you've got your notes at the bottom and that's double sided. So you will get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten different family members in there. Obviously if you have more family members you can buy more of them. But I like that little pack. That's very clever. Well done Jess. And then this last one looks like a gardening set. <laughs> Things I'm not good at gardening. So it's a gardening set. So it's got your January garden. Oh, okay. So it got every month. So it's got here general tasks, flower garden, fruits and vegetables, and lawns. So it's got a task for every month. So feed plants with soluble fertilizers, harvest stone fruits. It's got tasks on the back. And then it's also got this, like everything you've got in your garden. Same thing here with uh, February. So in February you dig in your manure, put up anti-bird netting over your orchards if you've got fruits and vegetables, plant bulbs in March. I'm just going through some of them. Um, 
plant citrus tea, citrus trees in April. Whoops, I did one in December. Um, flower garden, prepare garden beds with manure for planting of roses in May. My grandma would love this. Uh, prune fruit trees so that branches form a cup in June. July, so this season seedling, so violas, prim, uh, primulas and primroses. Look for Australian natives like grevilleas, native fuchsia and wattles on oh, love July. Uh, August, pro complete all planting of deciduous plants, plant potatoes and asparagus in August. Um, feed lawns in September. Ideal planting time in October. Petunias, marigold, dahlias and gladioli. Tomatoes, capsicum, zucchinis, beans, squash, sweet corn, marrows, rock melon, watermelon. <laughs> when First three when danger of frost is gone. Well done Jess for putting that in. Uh, November, feed your citrus trees. And then December, raise your heart of your mower. That's actually a really clever thing. If you're a gardener, and I'm, I'm a, I dabble in gardening. I'm not a gardener. I'm not a gardener. I try and keep my plants alive. That's my, my, my goal of the year is to not kill my plants. Um, but if you are a gardener, that's a really cool kind of thing just to keep you on track. Especially if you're a learner gardener. If you, you kind of know all these things already. If you're a good kind of, you've been gardening for a long time, perhaps. You don't need something like that but if you're a newbie or trying to get into it like i am that's actually not a bad thing to have i love that the honey comes in it i do love when jess puts food stuff in here and this little pin is just adorable i'm always funny with pins because to me like i get the appeal of the pins i really do uh, but at the same time i sort of look at them and i go oh i wish i could put that in my planner so i'm always thinking of ways that i could do that leave it with me i'll think about it love this i love the theme of it i especially love that 2022 um get ready that's definitely going into my planner i love the the bees love that. and i just i yeah love these just love the the difference the different things that i get to try by having this box so thank you once again to jess for sending this one to me you can always buy these boxes you can find them linked below for you so you can go and check them out you can subscribe to them so that you're guaranteed to get them they're a buy a monthly box so you get them every other month um, or of course most of the time not all of the time but most of the time there'll be a couple left over so if you see this video and you really like what you get this time um, you can go and pop over and grab it but don't don't get mad at me if it's not there it's why you need to subscribe if you did enjoy this one guys please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see other unboxings and these things are being used in my planner Hope you have an absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome rest of your day and I will catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles!